Dokies and Dilipi about another advanced OBS tutorial and you guys have requested it a lot. How can I control my filters with hotkeys? Because there's not an option in OBS. Well now there is. Let's get into it. Put your rock for the stone. So with all insane OBS stuff, we need to download it from the OBS website. You know everything is safe on here, usually all, all gets checked and everything like that. So this is the download, the link is in the description down below. So this is OBS Filter Hotkeys by Upgrade Q. And this is so powerful, you can use it with your stream deck and stuff like that, so you can actually turn filters on and off without delay. Yes, that's it, because we're changing it to a hotkey. So even if you ain't got a stream deck and you've got a keyboard macro or anything like that, you can use this. This is the way forward. So we're going to go to the download just here in the top right, and it's going to take us to the GitHub page. We're going to go down to Assets, and we're just going to download the source code zip file just there. I have already got it in, uh, downloaded, but if I go to my downloads page, you should see filter hotkeys just here. We can open that up. Open that next folder up and you'll see two files, Filter Hotkeys Audio and Filter Hotkeys Video. Because obviously it, he's created two different kind of scripts that work, one for video, one for audio. So you want to kind of put these where your scripts are located for OBS so you don't have to search for them every single time if you want to install something new. So I'm going to copy these uh, like so and we're going to go to our OBS folder which is in this PC. C drive and it's usually program files or program files 86 minus program files and then we're going to go to OBS dash studio all lowercase open up that folder and then we're going to go into data and then into OBS plugins and then we should see front end tools so we're going to open that go to scripts bit of a long one <laughs> but it's it it is all there and we're just going to paste them into this folder so i've already got them so it's asking me to uh, replace them so i don't want to replace them it'll ask for all admin privileges and everything like that to save them to there because it's your c drive so just say yes to everything once that's done you don't even have to have obs closed to to do this because we're going to add the scripts in now so you don't have to restart it or anything like that so i'm going to go to tools go to scripts just here and then once we're on this, you should get a pop-up window with all your loaded scripts that you use. So I'm going to press the plus sign just here, and you it will automatically take you to this folder. If it doesn't take you to the folder where we installed it, then you just need to navigate back through. But OBS is designed to naturally open the, the correct folder. So I can select both of these at once. So holding the control button, I can select multiple at once. I'm going to install both of these just now. Press open, and you'll see it's added these two just here. There's no settings or anything like that. There's a description here, and the only thing you need to remember is zero means disable, one is enable, two is toggle, and three is hold, because you get an option to do whatever you want with the, the filters. I love the idea of the hold effect, by the way. So we can close this down now, but sometimes I like to leave it open, so I remember what one, two, and three mean, but I'm sure you can remember that easily. Uh, so now I've got this color source just here. I'm going to add a filter to it. And I'm just using this as an example. You could use any filter you like, any source, any filter. So I'm going to press the plus sign and I'm going to add a color correction filter. Nice and, and simple there. So color correction, press OK. And I'm going to change the color to green or just any other color. So I might, might do Andy Lippy Blue. Yeah, let's do that. So press OK. And then I'm going to go to the plus sign just at the bottom here. And we're going to add in the new filter hotkeys video by Upgrade Q. We can call it anything we like for now, but I'm just going to leave it as that. Press OK. And you don't need to press the I because if you do, it'll turn the source off. So we just leave that off like that and everything's ready to go. If I turn color correction off, you'll see that this changes color. Maybe I should actually choose a color that's going to be visible. Andy, good one. Good one. I'm going to choose this red. There we go. So when this is off, it turns white. When it's on, it turns red. So now we can go up to file and then go to settings. And then we can go to hotkeys. If you remember, the filter was called color correction. So if you type in color correction, you can see here we go. We've got four selections just here. So we've got zero. So that disables it. We've got one that turns it on, two that toggles it, and three that holds it. So if I just set these up to, I'll say, um, we'll do control three, four, five, and six, and press apply, press okay. And now if we open the filter menu, you can see it happening live. So if I press uh, three, it turns it off, press three again, it doesn't do anything. Four, 
turns it on. So press three, press four, both turn it on and off. If I press control five now and keep spamming that, it will turn it on and off. So I'm not using the mouse or anything like this. This is just a hotkey and press six. When I'm holding six and then I let go, it turns it off. So I have to hold six, let go, it turns it off. So this means you'll be able to do that with absolutely any filter. Make sure you do put good names for your filters because you do have to search for it. So you can obviously search for it at the top if you need to, but you can also go down a little bit and you will see it just here for each one. So I do recommend that you do call it the correct um, name and different names for everything because obviously depending on your scenes, you can have multiple different names. I mean, you can see the the, the source name there and the filter. So it, they, they don't get duplicated, but just work a naming system that works for you that is really easy to remember because then you won't have any headaches trying to remember what each one does. Hopefully that helps you guys and it kind of uh, rejuvenates your uh, Stream Deck a little bit. I don't know why they don't update their software for little things like this. Uh, like, come on Elgato, you've got this bro, you can do it, alright? <laughs> but these videos take me a little while, so if you do want to consider hitting the Patreon up and supporting my content and helping the, the community as I make these videos full time, uh, then please do so, alright guys? If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.